Speaker, my questions today are for the Minister from the Environment and Natural Resources. I'd like to start by noting that yesterday we saw the uh, GNWT sign an MOU on forest industry development with representatives from Fort Resolution. Uh, this appears to be a very positive development. Could the Minister outline what he sees as the next steps in creating sustainable forestry in the Northwest Territories? Must Thank you, Mr. Romney, Minister of Environment and Natural Resources. Mr. Miltenberger. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I appreciate the member's question. I do appreciate him sending me a note, giving me a chance to open up my binder <laughs> to uh, check, uh, check, double check my briefing notes. But uh, I agree with him that this signing yesterday was a good news story. That signing yesterday was a, a political agreement. Uh, at the end of, by the end of this month, we're going to work out with Ford Resolution the time to sign the actual formal detailed uh, forest management agreement that lays out the 25-year agreement, the details pertaining to the areas and the harvesting and all the uh, species to, to be harvested and such. Uh, with that document and hopefully with one to come from Fort Providence in the very near future, then we will have the basis for both the uh, business interests uh, as represented by Aurora Wood Pellets and then the two Aboriginal or three Aboriginal governments or four, the Métis in, uh, in, in the Dene Band in Fort Resolution and uh, the, the, the First Nations, Decho and Métis in Fort Providence to be able to uh, start putting their business plans together, their harvest plans. They have to, with assistance of ourselves and the federal government and other supports, we're going to work with the communities to help them set up their business. Mr. Aurora Wood Pellets uh, anticipates trying to break ground by June. Uh, the intent is to hopefully be harvesting trees by next winter. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Miltenberger. Oral questions, member from Mulde, Mr. Brown. Thank you, speak, Mr. Speaker, and thanks to the Minister. That sounds like a very exciting project. I'd love to hear another, uh, another announcement before the end of this uh, session uh, as, as we had yesterday. Uh, with the Fort Providence people. The, uh, um, but some people are wondering, uh, how can a pellet mill in the NWT compete with pellet mills in B.C. and Alberta that have, seem to have cheaper power, cheaper labor, and practically free access to sawdust from all on-site lumber mills? So basically, if we're going to export wood pellets, and I believe that's what I've been hearing, uh, what is our competitive advantage here? Masi. Thank you, Mr. Romney. Uh, Mr. Miltenberger. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the, uh, in fact, down south, from what my understanding is, that yes, at one point, uh, the use of wood waste was considered to be a, a benefit to the wood pellet producers. It was seen to help the, uh, the lumber mills uh, manage all their, their excess and waste. But now there's come that the recognition has come that this biomass has value. And so the, the issue of free sawdust and free slabs and waste for pellet mills is now a thing of the past. In fact, there, are, there is a fairly high rate of attrition. We are negotiating a, uh, we'll look at stumpage fees. The, the Aurora Wood Pellets will negotiate their arrangement with the respective Aboriginal governments or business interests representing the Aboriginal governments in terms of uh, the wood product. And Ms. The, the owner of Aurora Woods Pellets is convinced and he's doing his own business case, and he's to the point where he's going to be investing many, many millions of, of his own dollars that he can provide a product in the Northwest Territories with the Northwest Territories trees <clears throat> at a uh, 20 to 30 percent lower rate than it's cur that we're currently paying for products being shipped in from the south. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Milberger, oral questions. Member from Waldi, Mr. Bradley. Yep, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and uh, thanks for the detail from the Minister. That uh, sounds really positive. Uh, stumpage fees might, might have been the key there, and I uh, appreciate that uh, competitive advantage is, uh, is working out uh, on paper, and hopefully it does in, in uh, practice. Mr. Speaker, a wood pellet uh, plant on the South Slave grid would take advantage of our local green hydropower and presumably uh, use local biomass energy for drying the wood before it is pelletized to the extent that it needs to be done. Has the Minister considered that this could make NWT produced pellets even greener than the pellets we currently import from Alberta and BC? Thank you, uh, Mr. Romney. Uh, Minister of Finance, Mr. Minister Inar, Mr. Milkenberger. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Yes, we've, uh, I've had uh, numerous discussions with uh, 
the owner of the wood pellet project, as well as uh, with the Ministerial Energy Coordinating Committee and ENR and NTPC, looking at, uh, as the members indicated, they're going to use their own, some of their own product to, and the waste heat to uh, both possibly generate power as well as capture the heat so that they can dry all the pellets and put that heat to use as well with our net metering policy that is now being put in place they would also have the capacity to potentially put back uh, power into the line and if it's located in uh, enterprise then it'll become a hub uh, close to the railhead right on the main highway and we also see a, a very significant future potential with uh, bio diesels and biofuels where wood is converted not just to wood pellets but to uh, different fuels that would be a whole in additional market for uh, for this plant. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Milkberger. Final short supplementary, Mr. Bromley. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thanks again. The Minister sounds uh, uh, more and more positive. Mr. Speaker, we know that our forestry officials are highly qualified, so I assume we will be applying best practices uh, as we develop our forest management plans. And the logical next question is, uh, forest Stewardship Council certification is now the best known standard for sustainable forest products. Will our wood pellets be able to take advantage of the FSC certification as we market them both here in the FSC and abroad? Thank you, Mr. Bromley. Mr. Vienar, Mr. Miltenberger. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the, the proponent is a very astute uh, businessman. He's thoroughly immersed himself in this this industry. He's uh, had his contacts with uh, export markets as well as in the north uh, and as well we are we will be looking to support him and encourage him as we have as a government in terms of buying his product but making sure that all the required classifications are there that will make this an absolutely premium product. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Miltenberger. 